Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is a very special one to celebrate One Division's finale and ending. I created my very own LEGO One Division minifigure series. These are not for sale because I designed them myself using my own pieces and a few digital editing apps. I'm really happy with how this packaging turned out and I'm excited to start the video. The first minifigure in the series is Wanda Maximoff in her Halloween outfit. She uses Wonder Woman's torso flipped around as a top and Calendar Man's legs because I love the look of the tights and boots. I think they fit really well. I also like the way that her headpiece looks. I had to edit it on since there's no existing piece that works for her in my opinion. It was really difficult to come up with an accessory for her so I just gave her a smoothie. The second minifigure in the series is Vision in his Halloween outfit. This one required a lot of editing because no existing headpiece works in my opinion. He has a spider as an accessory because I think it fits well with the Halloween decorations in this episode. Then we've Billy in his casual clothes. I chose to build him in this outfit since that's what he wears for the last three episodes of the show, and I use Will Byers headpiece on him because I really like how it looks. His torso is flipped around so you can see the red details on his shirt. As an accessory I gave him the magic powers to hold onto in his right hand and Senior Scratchy on his left because he gets to hold the rabbit in episode 7 when Agnes is taking care of them. The other twin is Tommy. Funnily enough he uses Mike's head from Lego Stranger Things and Lloyd's hoodie from the Lego Ninjago movie. I chose this one because I like how it suits the character and it's quite a common piece that a lot of people would have. His accessories are a bolt of lightning to show super speed, similar to Billy's. He also has a game controller, I included this to represent when it started glitching throughout the decades in episode 7. The fifth minifigure in the series is Darcy Lewis. She's seen here using a face piece from the LEGO Women of NASA set, a torso from a LEGO Batman movie accessory pack, and legs from the Tom Holland Spider-Man minifigure. I'm not entirely sure what set her hair came in, but that piece is quite common and brown. She also has handcuffs as an accessory. Number 6 in the series is probably one of my favourite characters in the MCU, Monica Rambeau. She's such a fantastic character so I really enjoyed creating her as a minifigure. I would use the LEGO Sports Trader hair for her from the LEGO Creator Bookshop, but unfortunately I don't have that set. The head is also from the Women of NASA set because I really like her grin and the torso is from a build minifigure station but once again flipped around to hide the print. I gave her a belt piece in black and some nice printed legs I got in Series 16 Spy Minifigure. She also has two power blasts as accessories since I think they suit her powers. Next up is director Tyler Hayward. I'm really happy with how this guy turned out. He uses the face from Gilderoy Lockhart which came in the LEGO Diagon Alley set and a navy suit. This piece is really common. I made a mini drone for him since that's what he uses to attack Wanda in episode 5. Our lord and saviour Jimmy Woo is next. The legend himself uses Ant-Man's head and a torso from the LEGO Ultra Agent set. I also gave him two coffee cups because we all know and love that scene in episode 5 where he just looks so happy to be bringing his friends coffee. Next up we have White Vision who was super creepy in the series finale. He's quite basic here though, only using Zane's headpiece from LEGO Ninjago and a dentist's torso. Once again flipped around. I also took a cape from the LEGO Shazam minifigure because I like the accuracy. I couldn't think of an accessory for him because he doesn't appear in the show for that long. I'm hoping to see more of him in the MCU though. One of my favourite minifigures in the series is the evil witch Agatha Harkness. She uses a purple cape and a navy cloth piece from Kingsley Shacklebolt in the LEGO Harry Potter minifigure series. I really like how it looks. She's Bellatrix the Stranger's face piece. I love how this looks so sinister and it really suits the character. She also uses Raven's torso from the LEGO Teen Titans ghost set. She has plain black legs and black magic pieces on her hand. The Scarlet Witch is the 11th minifigure in my series and I love how she turned out. She's Iron Man's torso flipped around, Wanda's face print, Sharon Curtis hair and the pirate from series 20's leg. I really like how this turned out. I also gave her a brick built spell book that she has in episode 9's post credit scene. I also included fake Pietro Maximoff, or Ralph, jeez that was a disappointment, but I chose to include his first appearance outfit because I asked some of my friends and apparently that's the most iconic. His torso is from a Star Wars set, I'm not exactly sure which one though. His face is Cedric Diggory's from Harry Potter and his hair is Vernon Dursley's from the same theme. Next up is Final Battle Wanda. I would no idea what accessories to give her so she doesn't have any. If you can think of a good one let me know in the comments. She has an orange ponytail piece and Claire's head from Jurassic World. I gave her a red jumper from the Devil Boy minifigure in series 16 and her legs are Ron Weasley's from the second Harry Potter minifigure series. I really like those legs and they're super useful. The third to last minifigure in this series is Vision. I took this one from the Age of Ultron set since I don't have a Yellowstone Vision headpiece. I cut his cape to make it skinnier and to make it look longer, making it more accurate to the show. He also has an accessory of a letter to Wanda of their property in Westview which they were going to live in. That scene was heartbreaking. Of course I didn't forget classic 50s Wanda, I love how she turned out and her smile is perfect in my opinion. She uses the Hollywood starlet hair in light brown, although you can't see the colour. I used Claire's torso from the LEGO Jurassic World sets and her legs are from Dolores Umbridge. She came in a LEGO Harry Potter set. She also has a lobster as an accessory to show when she accidentally shot it out of the window with her magic. Last but certainly not least, we have 50s Vision. I think that the Newt Commander head works very well for Paul Bettany and his suit came in the detective's office set. His accessories are a suitcase which we see him carry in the episode and a bowler hat that he briefly wears in the episode. He also has Mr. Incredible's hairpiece and I love how that looks on him. 
So that was it for my entire WandaVision CMF series. I really hope you enjoy. If you do, be sure to leave a like because it's super motivating and you can even subscribe. It's completely free. I'm not sure if I'll make any more like a WandaVision video since the series is over and I'm ready to move on to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Thanks so much for watching guys. Stay safe.